It is a gray and rainy day out here in Edmonds, Washington, suburb of Seattle. We're working from home. We got the pugs. We got the fire going. We got the baby gate because uh, Dickie's having some health issues. So sometimes we have to lock him up. Uh, but it is Thursday, May 19th, which puts us at six weeks post-op, which means this son of a bitch is off for good. No more sling. Okay, we are almost at the end of our work day. So we just got a couple more things we gotta do, and we're gonna get our workout in here pretty soon. So I'm gonna do uh, the workout today. Let me grab and tell you what the workout's gonna be today. I purposefully made today's workout include everything that I couldn't do a week ago. Uh, so we're gonna do belt squats, uh, three sets of 15 with a 53 pound kettlebell attached, and then we're gonna do three sets of 12 at 75 pounds, which will be a 53 pound kettlebell plus two five kilo change plates. Uh, then we're gonna do some one arm dumbbell shoulder press, three sets of 10 at 30 pounds, keeping it super light. I just wanna get, get the good arm moving again. And then a 15 minute AMRAP of 15 dumbbell push press at 30 pounds, 15 air squats, 15 one armed V ups. Pretty damn excited. Uh, and then I'll run through everything that I'm doing for rehab right now. I'm doing it two or three times a day, um, depending on tolerance. And then I go to PT uh, twice a week. So putting in a lot of time uh, right now to try and get right. But it seems like I'm a few weeks ahead of, excuse me, <laughs> a uh, few weeks ahead of schedule from where I should be uh, at this point. So range of motion is um, coming back quicker, making big gains in range of motion. So. Uh, all right, let's check it out. So we got our belt squats, like I said, and I'm gonna superset those with the uh, 30 pound shoulder press with my good arm. Let's take a look. Gotta get a couple of boxes here. These are approximately the same height. We've got 21 inches, I think, on that side and 20 on this, so it's very close, but it'll definitely serve the purpose. And my physical therapist told me with the bad arm, just rest it on my thigh as I go down. Just like that. Dangles like that, and we get our squat on. What's also kind of nice about this is I start at a negative, meaning I start lower and I have to ascend. A little weird on the balance. Okay, PT stuff. So what we do, we're gonna put our arm up against the wall and our goal is to push the elbow out. So we're gonna do this for uh, 10 reps and then we rest for a second. Okay, so here, we're pointing our elbow and our tricep back into the wall. Same thing, set of 10, hold at five. Same idea, but now we're gonna put our fist into the wall. Okay, next thing are the pulleys. So what we do, 
The goal here is to get range in three directions. So we want it in front of me, we want it at about 45 degrees, and then we want it at about 90 degrees um, in terms of the plane of my body. So we do this for, again, sets of 10 at each direction, and we hold for a couple seconds at the top. And I'm just going to really the first part of resistance. So I'm not trying to get as far as I possibly can. I'm just trying to get to where my body naturally will stop. So that range of motion will come. It'll come. I'm accelerating nice and fast in uh, PT, but I can't go through this again. So no need to push it faster than it needs to happen. It's coming pretty fast. Okay, so now. We're going to push this aside just a little bit, open up our stance a little, keep our chest forward though, right there. All right, final part, pushing this seat over even further, further, we got to go to about 90. This is definitely the hardest one. This is definitely the hardest one. Okay, for the next one, we're going to take our broomstick, we come over here to the rack. The goal here, we're essentially doing like an overhead press, but we're using the rack to assist us. So, we go up, again, don't need to push it, and we go down. So I do this for 10 reps. That's what we got for that. We're going to keep the stick though. We need, uh, we're going to use it for, for the next couple of things. So we're doing sort of like a pseudo jerk. The goal is to swing the bar out opposite from what we do in uh, Olympic lifting and then take a step forward. That's, that's to be soft. I was doing it a little bit too hard. He told me to back off. So again, just to that point of resistance. When I was doing these yesterday, he said that I was seven or eight degrees behind on my bad side, but that's what he would expect. So I do this for three sets of five. We're gonna go mixed grip here. And the idea is a lateral lunge coupled with essentially shoveling snow or shoveling dirt. So go lateral, diagonal, and then back. Same thing, three sets of five. Now we get on to the little bit more tedious stuff. Uh, but this was the first active motion stuff that I got to do on Monday. Let's check it out. So the first one being almost like a bench press. My goal is to go there, back down. Up. Okay. So now I do serratus punches. So my arm is fully extended. And I'm just going down, up. Down, up. Two sets of 12 to 15 reps. So I'm going to be abducting my arm, abducting, not abducting, abducting my arm. And I'm going to use this ab mat to give it a little bit more cushion. I get a little bit of popping when I start too close to my body. What she said was normal, so we just go like this. All right, so that's what I do for PT. All right, our next stop, we gotta run off to Trader Joe's. I gotta pick up some stuff. All right, we are rounding out uh, the video here. I'll do my closing comments when I get back home, but hit Trader Joe's. We got some Ezekiel bread, cinnamon raisin. I've been wanting to try it. This is a good opportunity. Uh, a little snack post-workout. These apple cinnamon fruit, or sorry, apple coconut uh, fruit bars, which are delish. Um, we got some oatmeal, we got some frozen brown rice, some bruschetta. We're going to have some chicken and brown rice and bruschetta for dinner. Uh, so that should be pretty good. Um, all right, well, we'll do closing comments when I get back. Okay, we are back home now, still in the car. Uh, we'll go inside in a second. Um, but yeah, 42 days post-surgery. Uh, things are going as good as I can ask. Uh, my range of motion, I'm making great gains in range of motion. At physical therapy, passively, Monday we're going to test some of my active uh, range of motion. Um, pain is very minimal. 
uh, I feel like some occasional pain in my bicep, but the surgeon had said he would expect that, um, and it's nothing that he's worried about. So we're going to go and see the surgical team again at nine weeks post-op. I'm going to go back to CrossFit and do a bunch, you know, do modified stuff uh, at week nine. Um, so I'm supposed to be able to start running around week eight or at week eight. Uh, I should feel okay. So it's going to be, you know, let pain be my guide in that regard. Uh, but overall, this uh, whole experience, at least the first six weeks, hasn't been as bad as I thought. Um, lived with the sling, did fine with the sling. Sure as hell happy to be out of the sling. Um, but overall, uh, the experience has been has been pretty good. Uh, so I'm looking forward to getting back to 100%. People have been awesome on uh, social media, Instagram, Facebook. You know, the support has been awesome. So uh, for the most part... Um, so the next hurdle and the next big milestone that I have, the next big goal is to be able to back squat. I feel like I should be able to do that in the next four to six weeks. That's the plan. Um, and although four, four weeks, uh, what I need to be able to do to be able to back squat seems like a lot of work. I need to be able to, to you know, abduct to the side and externally rotate. Uh, but when I think about where I was four weeks ago and how little I could do, um, it really doesn't seem like it's going to be uh, an uns an insurmountable uh, mountain to climb. So I'm going to wrap the video up here. Uh, not sure how frequently I'll be doing these. Um, I want to be able to hit some milestones and such. So maybe in a couple of weeks when I go back to CrossFit, I'll do another one. But for now, 42 days post-op, this is where we're at.